we found supermassive black holes so large they defy explanation. They're too big to have grown by simply eating the matter around them. They can't form the same way that regular black holes do. There must be something else that happens that lets them grow to such enormous mass. Too large to have grown from dark stars and too big to have grown from regular black holes simply eating each other. Merging black holes almost certainly play a role in our understanding of supermassive black holes. We think that supermassive black holes themselves also merge and have merged regularly over the course of the universe. Now, whether this merging activity itself is enough to make them that big, the jury is still out on that. Now, a newly discovered type of galaxy may provide an answer. It's called W2246-0526, and we can't see it, but we can detect the heat it gives off. This galaxy is an example of a rare class of objects called hot dogs. One of the funnier terms for an exotic type of galaxy is a hot dog galaxy. And no, this is not some delicious sausage snack. In fact, it means hot dusk obscured galaxy. It's called obscured because it's shrouded in so much dust and gas. The only light that escapes is infrared in the form of heat. All this heat must be coming from somewhere. So in the core, there is a cauldron, a seething supermassive black hole, the likes of which we can't even imagine. Of all the supermassive black holes we know of, the ones that are obscured in these hot dog galaxies may be the ones that are the most ravenous, consuming many millions of times the mass of the sun. Scientists theorize that hot dogs could be the offspring of cannibal giant black holes. When the monstrous black holes merge, they drag gas and dust with them. This brings more food to the table, allowing the new black hole to gorge itself.